Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique, and today we're going to be taking a look at Scalar from Plugin Boutique. Now this is a very interesting and powerful plugin. This basically allows you to analyze what key and scale you're in by playing a couple notes or chords into it, and then you can explore and discover hundreds of scales and chord sets, and then you can even build and create your own custom chord sets. Now you have four different built-in sounds, but an awesome thing is you can mute this output, and then in Studio One, all you have to do is, let's say we have a synth, and if we expand it up so we can see these, we go right here and this is our input and we just hit Scalar. Now when we arm this, fill this up, we're now playing through this synth that I'm using. Now that is a really awesome thing. Let's clear this up. And uh, let's start off just by showing you guys what we're working with. This is a intro of a song. It's a metal song, but it has a clean electric guitar that's just in there in the beginning. And I felt like it was a little bit bland. The heavy part sounds great and can use some uh, orchestral stuff. But overall, the clean part just sounded dead and empty. Let's play this for you so you can just hear what it sounds like. Right? It seems a little bit empty. There's really nothing going on. And in this part in the orchestration, uh, the artist didn't want any drums. So what I did is I ended up writing down in MIDI with my MIDI guitar uh, the same notes that he did as his uh, root notes. And now I'm in Scalar. So all I'm going to do is hit Detect, start this. And when I play it, the notes are going to come in and it's going to read and tell me what scale I'm in. And we got to make sure the output is up. And here we go. Now, I already know that we're in the G flat major scale, but a really cool thing is I'm loving how it allows us to see all of the other scales that it could be or scales that will work with it. Now, also, if I click here, it'll switch to the alternative scale name, right, which is the G sharp major scale. Different name, same scale. Now, a really cool thing is this is telling me the scale I'm in but I can actually change it because I'm in the diatonic chords with my root notes, and I can even change the playback octave. And if I bind this, whenever I play something, it'll actually play these chords into the synth that I've actually chosen. So if we arm this, mute our output. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to use. But a really cool thing is if I go to chord variations, I can see that my G chord has several variations. So I can actually go just drag it down, my A, like this one, my B, and then we can go to my C. And for this one, I can go down an octave. And for my D, and then for my E, I can go back up, and then for my F, and you know what? We can add one more F. Now, this is my custom chord set, and again, we can change the octave because it followed along to where we are. So I can make this up and down an octave and an inversion. So if we press play, it's basically playing the chord set that I've made. I can bind this or export this as MIDI and even save it as a chord set. We also have a bunch of presets. So we can actually use different song styles from 50s to jazz to some love ballads to some pop music and a bunch of electronic music. But we also have a bunch of presets from a ton of artists. We have stuff like Carl Cox, CC Rogers, MJ Cole, and they've basically given Plugin Boutique a bunch of their preset scales. So, those are ones that they recommend to use. And of course, all of our used ones are going to be right here. We'll just bind it if we want to. Now, let's see what happens. So, you've heard the guitar before. And what I've actually done is I've created a custom scale for this guitar. And then I played it on my MIDI keyboard. And a cool thing is if you have scalar triggering, 
another synth, it will actually play those chords, not just the notes that you're playing, but the chords that Scalar is triggering. If we take this down by one bar and we play this guitar, we'll see that it sounds dead and empty, and then we'll see what we've turned it into by adding just a couple of little chords from Scalar. Pretty cool, right? This has added a lot more movement to it, and it's something that I can actually build and expand upon. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys like this. This is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.